Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you a very important message from my countrymen, the Filipino people. On behalf of Duty Free Philippines and the almost 100 million Filipinos all over the world, I wish to express my deepest and sincerest gratitude to all of you for the generosity you have extended in the aftermath of Super Typhoon Haiyan. If I may borrow a phrase from one of the journalists who covered this unfortunate occurrence, to the brutal onslaught of the Super Typhoon, you have all responded with a much greater force, and that is kindness. Kindness that will forever be embedded in our hearts and in our minds. This is the Pitados Kasadyaan Festival, held every year on the 29th of June in Tacloban, Leyte. The celebration pays homage to the Señor Santo Niño de Leyte, or the Child Jesus. Just like the many festivals held all over the Philippines every year, the Pintados Kasadyaan reflects the Filipinos' happy and fun-loving nature. There's a festive rhythm, it seems, as they go about harvesting the bounty of their sea and their land. But then, especially for the people of Leyte, that festive rhythm is about to change. Typhoon Haiyan over the last few days as it's made its way towards the Philippines and it always was forecast to be a very powerful and violent typhoon. We've never seen one this strong. There's going to be storm surge, 50, maybe 60 feet. All around us you hear the sounds of windows breaking, you hear the sounds of large objects falling, crashing to the floor. Over 6,000 confirmed fatalities. Nearly 2,000 remain missing. Still, countless others have been left homeless. The UN estimates that about 11 million people have been affected. Destruction was at a massive scale, totaling almost 1 billion US dollars. The days that followed saw the world descending upon the hardest hit areas. Coming together and caring for its own, these are humanity's finest hours. The travel retail industry responded as well. Pledges of support were consolidated through DFP CARES or Coordinated Action in Response to Emergency Situations. In record time, DFP CARES worked hand-in-hand -hand with trade partners in organizing relief operations. Representing the entire travel retail industry, DFP employees themselves distributed relief goods in remote areas desperately needing help. Reaching out to those affected became the first order of business. From relief, DFP Cares now shifts its focus to long-term rehabilitation with its latest project. DFP now embarks on a new mission, rebuild lives one block at a time. Truly, the story of rehabilitation has just begun. There will be more ways to help and more people will come to prove that kindness knows no bounds. To resuscitate communities, this is the vision of the FP Cares. At present, our objective is to build at least 100 homes initially, each costing 5,000 US dollars. With these homes, our hope is to create a travel retail village in Leyte and provide the next generation with opportunities to chart a better future. With your continued assistance, support, and kindness, you will bring hope to all those affected. For it is hope that will rekindle, fire up, and once again set their festive spirit ablaze. Our communication lines are open at all times, through our email, dfpcares at dfp.com.ph. 
Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. It is my fervent wish that we can soon work together and uplift the lives of the victims of Typhoon Haiyan. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you.